Today I want to show you how I make my vanilla cake and here are my ingredients. I have four eggs. And I have sugar. I have all purpose flour. I have vanilla flavor. I have baking powder. I have salt. I have baking margarine and I have yogurt, natural yogurt. So this is how I do it. First, I start by beating my eggs. There are four eggs. And because I don't have a mixer, I'll just use my spoon. And the secret to a spongy cake or a fluffy cake is making sure you beat your egg thoroughly until it starts to form. It needs some time, so you should be patient with it. After 10 minutes of beating the egg, I'll add in one cup of sugar. I'll put on the screen the exact measurements. Then I continue beating until the sugar dissolves completely into the egg. And by that I could not post yesterday, I was supposed to, not yesterday, I was supposed to post for you a video on Monday, but I could not post on Monday due to an available circumstance, I'm really sorry for that. And, uh, but I'll give you a bonus video on Friday. If it's your first time on my video, please subscribe. And if you like this content, give it a thumbs up. Share my videos. I really appreciate it. And it really means a lot. Nato si lazima ukue na oven yo ubek cake. You can use even Jiko to bake your cake. If you have an oven, the better for you. My next thing is ready. I'll set aside. As I work on the dry ingredients, it's really good to sift your flour. These are two cups of all-purpose flour. You sift to remove hard lumps and to introduce air into the mixture. You can sift even two to three times if you like. My flour is sifted well. I'll add one teaspoon of baking powder. One teaspoon of baking powder. A 
quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix the ingredients well. My dry ingredients are well mixed. So I'll measure one cup of margarine, baking margarine. I'm using baking margarine, one cup of it. Melted, it's melted and it's at room temperature. Please, when baking, everything should be at room temperature. It should not be hot or not be too cold. It's at room temperature. I'll add into my egg mixture give it a good mix so that it mixes well in my mixture I'll add one teaspoon of vanilla essence to give that vanilla flavor don't put too much when you put too much your cake will be bitter This is my secret ingredients, guys. For a spongy and fluffy cake, I use some few spoons, let's say three spoons of plain yogurt. You can use milk instead, no harm. yogurt is well mixed so I'll add in my dry ingredients in batches I'll not add all of it at once I'll add in batches as I fold it in and with the dry ingredients we don't fold it with a heavy hand you fold it pole pole until hyena lambs You fold it in with a loose hand. Until there is no lamp. My flour or my dry ingredients is folded in nicely and this is the consistency I was looking for. Make sure your cake butter is not too heavy or not too light. This is the right consistency. I'll set aside as I work on my baking pan. brush my margarine into the pan and the reason for doing that is so that when your cake is baking it doesn't stick on your pan 
and brush my margarine well on both sides of the baking okay of the baking like so then i'll add a quarter of flour you need to prepare baking tea before it goes to the oven if you have a parchment paper it will easen your work and swell the the flour so that it it cuts on all sides of my baking tea then remove the excess my baking tin is ready. I'll pour my cake butter inside. And my oven is preheating. I've preheated it at 150 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Make sure your baking tin is not too small. When you pour your cake butter, it should be halfway so that it gives the butter room to expand while baking. Make sure everything goes into your tin, nothing goes to waste. Then I levelize it. After that, I dab to remove excess air. My cake butter is ready for baking. I'll take it to the oven to degrees, 45 to 50 minutes, depending on your oven. 50 minutes later, my cake is ready. cake is ready and for you to know when it's ready you will take a knife or a toothpick when you dip inside it should come clean it's ready you see the flour the butter doesn't stick on the on the knife so it means my cake is ready it doesn't stick the pan is clean It has baked well on both sides. So I'll wait it to cool down before I cut it. Pause. So I'll cut it. This is how it looks, very spongy, it's not hard, it's very spongy. Yes. Mm. It really melts in my mouth, very yummy. If you really like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and let me know what type of cake recipe would you want me to bake with you next. Bye! Mm.